Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Regular viewers will know I review many photographic, audio and video related products. Well today we're taking a look at a photo printer. Now in the past I haven't printed a great deal of photos. Um, in fact I've printed very few. I do own, or originally owned, a Canon A3 printer and I did print out some stuff I put on the walls and it was a really nice printer. I still got it, it still works great. But I thought I'd invest in a new uh, printer. Because I like the Canon so much, I went for another Canon. And this particular model has some tremendous reviews online. So I thought, well, it kind of makes sense to go with that one. And what I went for is this one, one here, the Canon 100, Pro 100S, um, yeah, the Canon Pixmia Pro 100S. Um, now, it looks like an inkjet printer. It takes eight separate ink cartridges, as, we, as we've got here. Um, but apparently, according to the spec online, it's a kind of a hybrid between die sub and inkjet. And I don't understand the technology of that whatsoever. You would need to go online to get a, a better in-depth look as to how that works. Um, but basically, eight separate cartridges. I will carry on using uh, Canon cartridges. I don't put... Um, third party ones in, I don't want to damage the printer and I want really good prints to come out of it. I've already printed a couple I'm really really pleased with uh, but I'll just run, run through a quick print just to show you you know what it can do. I'm using at the moment I'm using Canon um, Photo Paper Pro, uh, well that's Pro Platinum and Pro Luster. Um, now, apparently, these are meant to be really good papers. There you can see on the wider top there, the Pro uh, Luster. These are A4 sheets. I've ordered some uh, Canon A3 paper because it is an A3 Plus printer. So you can print, you know, really large. Well, it's basically double the size of A4. Uh, we've got one here that I've done. This wasn't on any Pro papers. It's just what I happen to have available. And you see, you know, compare that to the size of... A4. Here's one I made earlier. It's also a borderless printer. You can see there that one I've printed borderless uh, on a gloss sheet of paper and uh, I'm absolutely delighted. And even, even though I haven't got the profiles for that particular paper, it still printed it really, really well. And I mean that's the A4 sheet size. You can see it's quite a well, obviously, it's twice the same, twice the size of a A3 is twice the size of A4. So you fit two of those onto an A3 sheet, which is great, isn't it? Really good. So now let's uh, print um, something. Now, to set it up, it is, well, it's very straightforward. You slide your paper in the back um, and you've just got to slide in these sliders, whether it be A3, A4, whatever. So put it in there. Make sure that's in place and you've got to make sure this flap is um, right the way over, pull the trays out and then unfortunately my computer is in next door so we have to zip in next door to set this to print and um, you know we'll see what it comes out like. So let's go and print, hopefully my other camera is working. And we, you pick me up here. I'm not lighting in here, so you'll have to bear with me. It's not such a good angle. Um, and so here we are, uh, Roman baths is what we took, obviously, when we went to Bath. Um, I'm using Lightroom. You can use, obviously, whatever uh, software you happen to use. But in Lightroom, you can download, which I highly recommend if you're using Lightroom, it's a completely free download, and it's called Canon Print Pro, Professional Pro Plugin, something you'll see in a minute. So we go to File, Plugin Extras, and go to Canon Pro Studio Pro. That's what it's called, Canon Pro Studio Pro. And then I'll load that image into this uh, printing bit of software, the Canon printing software. Um, Print Studio Pro has come up, and there it is. Um, there's many parameters that you can check. I've pre-done this, uh, but basically you've got your parameters in what printer, what photo paper, photo paper pro platinum, what size A4, obviously you can choose all your different sizes. Um, layout's important, I've gone for borderless. Um, you can go for bordered, you can go for bordered times two. You know, if you want to print two 
photographs onto one sheet of paper. Um, but we'll go with uh, borderless. One image borderless. Um, and then you hit the print. So we click on print. And it comes up with a, a, a message, basically just to double check you've got it right. Um, click OK there. I mean, it will come up, I believe, with one more message. Uh, yes, it does. Do you want to print to the Canon 100S series yet? Yeah, print one print. Click on print. That's sending it to the printer. So if we go back next door, this picture looks awful, doesn't it? Sorry about that. Um, but let's go back next door where I have lit it. And now we will see that that is now fla flashing. That's saying it's receiving an image. Um, and then you just wait to see the image come through. There we go. It's a very quiet printer as well. It's not a noisy printer. I, I guess that's because it's um, inkjet stroke die sub. It's weird because it definitely says it's not uh, on the online. It definitely doesn't state inkjet, um, but they look like conventional inkjet inkjet inks. I say it just takes uh, takes eight of them, but it is a big old beast. Uh, it's a lot bigger than my other A3 printer, but. Uh, my eyes are wandering because I've got so many cameras set up here. But um, yeah, it's uh, it's uh, quite a heavy beast. The box is big. Here I go. It's printing out a nice borderless print there. And we'll have a quick look at that once it comes out. I've printed in A4 basically to save time. Because if I print A3, that will take so much longer. Um, but don't take long to print, does it? And it prints, as I say, exceptionally high quality. I'm absolutely over the moon with its uh, quality of print. As it were, look at that, done and dusted. I don't know how long you're meant to wait. To, I, I think it's instant drying. Don't know, really. There's still a lot I need to learn about it, but um, effectively, that is what it's printed. And there's plenty of detail in there. What I should have shown you, actually, is that I did check that the highlights weren't blown out. Uh, the whites and blacks were at the correct levels. I should have shown you that. But um, make sure you photograph, you know, the highlights are set on the computer and the uh, shadow detail and the highlight detail. Um, and it is helpful to calibrate the computer beforehand. Um, that way you'll get a pretty good representation of what the image looks like. But that's basically the image. So there you have it. That is the Canon um, Pixmia, Pixmia, yeah, Pixmia Pro 100S um, A3 Plus printer. I'm loving it. Um, I might do a comparison between this printer and my old Canon A3 printer, the iX5000. I must have bought that oh, easily 12 years ago, probably longer than that. Um, and it still works great. Um, but uh, Volvo, this uses completely different ink technology. So there we go. That's the Canon Pixmia Pro um, 100S. I hope you found that of some use. So there was a, a short insight into the Canon Pixmia Pro 100S uh, inkjet stroke, die sub stroke, whatever printer. Um, thanks very much for watching. I hope you found this review useful. Please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already done so. And hit the like, hit the like button um, if you like this video. Thanks for watching. See you again. Stay tuned for more videos such as this. Bye for now.